Let us see how we see QRadar detects things that are not normal, abnormalities. Let's go into the uh, actual rules in QRadar and we're going to actually search from all the rules that we have from the actual group anomaly and this is going to show us all the rules that we have uh, for that. So let's start with the, actually for the very last one, system using many different protocols. How does Curator detect that? Well, and this is a rule that, is, that I'm showing here in the in the wizard editor, so you can actually modify it. Uh, basically, Curator says when when uh, there is communication going out and is successful, and there are at least 50 events or flows with the same source IP and different port. I mean, if you're using a different port probably is a different protocol. So you have way too many protocols within an hour. What the heck is this is this uh, element actually doing? And that's what makes uh, these rule fires. So let's look at another one. Let's look at this one. This actually is self-explanatory. I mean, when, when, when Curator detects that a same source IP is using multiple MAC addresses, that's, that's not common and you can see the addition of the actual rule in there. This one actually shows how I can detect when countries I don't do business with all of the sudden are having successful communication with us. And for example, this category countries of regions with no remote access. What this is, is actually, as you can see here, this is preceded by the BB, this is a building block. Let's take a look at it. I actually showed this in a previous video, but it's, it's worth to go back and show that again. So in order for you to do that, all you need to do here is while you're looking at the rules, instead of displaying rule, which is the default, we actu you actually switch to building blocks. So instead of going to the anomaly group, you actually go back to all the top, top, uh, top group. And we're going to search for uh, countries. And if we perform that search, we should be able to find, and here it is, this particular building block. And you can actually, as we have done before, you can uh, double click on it and edit it. So for example, if you wanna, uh, in South America, uh, so if you wanna actually add or remove countries that you do or do not do business with, uh, you know, Chile, Colombia, whatever, you can actually add that or remove that uh, from the actual group and then this rule will fire when uh, countries that you don't normally do business with are all of a sudden communicating successfully with your enterprise. Let's go back to the rules and go back to the anomaly group to focus just on this one and as you can see there are gazillions of them uh, for you to actually get some uh, good ideas with. This one for example uh, potential honeypot uh, honey access, uh, excessive firewall attempt with multiple sources with a single destination. You can actually see the actual rule and edit it right there. This one, for example, you have way too much ICMP traffic. I mean, where, where ping is just one of the, of the several ICMP flows that you can actually get, you know. So if you get ICMP going for more than 60 minutes, this uh, rule will actually fire. We can see this one, for example, excessive database connections. And as you can see, if you get too many, and this is a building block that you don't need to know how, we know how it and, and, and Curator maintains this building block with database connection from the same source IP more than 60 time within one minute, well, that, that's definitely a strange and you want to actually uh, fire an offense based on that. And you can tweak and modify this rule to make it suit your, your particular environment. 